Hi viewers! Today I'm going to talk to you about confidence and the sub-series of concepts, competencies, and motivation about why Bill Gates is a leader. And we're going to connect all this back to how competencies can help make people stronger individuals. Um, so let's get started. Agenda. So the sub-series is called Comp uh, Concept, Competencies, and Motivation. So we're going to talk about that. Let's start with concepts. So what is confidence? Confidence is trust, which is comes from reliability, where others can rely on you and you know, know that you will help them get the job done. And certainty is all about knowing and trusting others to get the job done. Uh, Self-assurance is having that confidence in one's own ability. That yes, I can do this because I'm just that confident in myself. And talking with that conviction in your voice that just tells people about how assertive you are and that your decision is the final decision. Next up is personal competency. So more energy equals more determination. The more conviction and the more energy you speak with, the more others would want to look up to you. You would form better relationships, better quality of work, and you're more connected to your surroundings. And self-confidence is different from confidence because self-confidence helps you act responsibly and control your own emotions, which helps you in turn uh, influence others and teach others that, actually show others that you have what it takes to be a self-motivated worker and in turn a better leader in, if you move on in the field you work in. So, motivation. Confidence can bring out the best in you and the people around you. So then why not be more confident? Well, the first question is how do you go about doing that? And I've picked out a link that would help you. You can go to zenhabits.net uh, to find out a couple of steps that you can do every day that will help you get there. So just take control, groom yourself, dress nicely, think positive, act positive kill negative thoughts and get to know yourself just be yourself sometimes it's not that hard but again you can learn more so the next thing is strategy how to not be low on confidence and my three easy steps are tone and relationships so shoot don't tell if you're a natural introvert or shy no need to express it or advertise you can just play it cool. As you can see, the old couple is kind of happy when they just play it cool. <laughs> so tone. Change up your tone to sound more positive instead of talking like this all the time. Such as dragging. Just make the conversation more upbeat. Next is relationships. No need to stress about having a click or not. Just make a, a good couple of friends that you can hang out with. And as they say, less is more. You get more time with each individual. You get to learn more about them. So you don't need to stress if you don't have too much going on. It's okay sometimes. And an example of showing confidence in any field is handshakes. Sometimes a handshake can tell others a lot about a person. It's, a, it's an important tool in making the right first impression. And the rules are pretty much universal. A good friend handshake is a universal sign of strength and assuredness, which is why everyone should have one. A firm but not crushing handshake is a sign of mutual respect from both parties. A handshake is more than just a greeting, it is also a message about your personality and your confidence level. But a weak handshake can go right the other way, it could leave a bad impression. But that's not all. So I'm going to give you an example of one of my personal favorite motivators and um, leaders himself. Before we do that, let's go into the brief. So confidence is important to being, a, to being successful in no matter which field you're in. And confidence equals a higher per, uh, performance, higher perceivance, and higher respect in your field. And no matter what job you do, or if you're studying, or if you have group projects, no matter where you're at in life, confidence is a must. So, going on to Bill Gates. He 
as everyone knows, is the uh, builder of Microsoft. And he also went on to make the Gates Foundation with his wife, Melinda Gates. Uh, and his ideas came from his own inspirations, uh, like Carnegie and Rockefeller. At the end of their own lives, they wanted to give back to all the people that they took from. So they started philanthropy. And through that, they were able to help build, help um, distribute some of the money that they earned over their lifetime. And Bill Gates took their ideas a step further and even ended up winning the Presidential Medal of Freedom by, presented by uh, President Barack Obama himself. And according to Time Magazine, he's one of the most influential of the 20th century. So how did he get there? What characteristics set him apart from everyone else? Well, let's have a look. Well, Bill Gates is a leader. Uh, he has the characteristic of self-confidence, as he knows that, yes, um, I can get to where I want to go because I'm sure. I, don't, I can trust the team of people I'm working with. He also has self-discipline, as the beginning of his journey wasn't so easy going. He was faced with a lot of problems, um, he wasn't able to get funding at first. So there was always those problems, but he still went back to work every day and kept working on his dream. Next, he has high standards. Again, he has a goal in his mind, which goes along with goal setting, and he and his team work towards it, and he enforces that kind of uh, environment and culture to his team as well. He also has his own inspirations. As we said, he took the uh, idea of philanthropy from his uh, pre preceders, such as Carnegie and Rockefeller. And also, he's very positive. He has, now he is at the point of life where he wants to give back. So, he, he's now at the point of life where he wants to give back. And he's doing that by getting out there and going on shows that influence children, like The Big Bang Theory and other related shows, science related shows especially. And he continues his efforts with great positivity and great optimism, which is a must in all leaders. And that's why Bill Gates is one of the leaders that are that practices confidence in everyday life and so many different competencies. And learning from him would be great for any career that you, you decide to go into. So let me know what you guys think about this video and please uh, like, comment, and subscribe if you want more. Thank you.